Today I'm making a small CNC entry level project that fits perfectly into the Christmas season. A small lamp that fits a battery operated tea light and creates a wonderful Christmas atmosphere. The lamp can be manufactured on a 3018 desktop milling machine. The blanks I use are flat on one side only, the bottom side. And the CNC milling machine can do the face milling of the top side. Let's start with the face milling of the top side of the workpiece. I use a cutter with a diameter of 13.5 mm. I choose the zero point in the Z direction on the bottom of the workpiece. Face milling with my small CNC machine takes its time, but this allows me to precisely determine the thickness of the workpiece and I can use workpieces that I could never run safely through my thicknesser due to their small dimension. Here you can see the result of the face milling process. The remaining small imperfections in the surface can easily be sanded away later. For the milling of the components, I use a double edged upcut end mill. I choose the zero point in Z direction on the bottom of the workpiece and then I'll let the milling machine do its work. Four side parts have to be milled from 6 mm thick material with two different motifs. After the side plates have been milled, the lid is milled from 10 mm thick material. And finally, the bottom plate is milled from 14 or 15 mm thick material. And 
here you can see the finished mill parts. They have been sanded already, but some wood fibers still need to be removed. I removed the wood fibers with a sharp knife. Unfortunately, time lapse doesn't work in reality, so I have to take my time to get a clean result. Assembly should not be a problem. The position of the parts are determined by mill grooves. The parts are glued together with white glue. To allow the glue to dry, the pieces are held together with rubber rings. After the four side walls have dried, the edges are sanded again, then the lid goes on the top. And of course the bottom is not glued. And here you can see the finished lamps. By the way, common sense tells you that you shouldn't use real tea lights or candles if you don't want to set your house on fire. The lamps are designed for use with battery operated tea lights. In the dark, the lamps create a wonderful pre-Christmas atmosphere. I hope you have fun rebuilding them. <laughs>